<clears throat> hey y'all i'm back i don't know where i left off at but as you can see from the beginning of the the uh, first video because this is probably gonna be two parts if i don't uh put them together but anyway it happened again now i'm not a i'm not a construction worker right so you don't <laughs> You don't need me to help you do construction because if that's what you do, you know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, that's what I was talking about. So I had two options. I had two options, right? I could have got frustrated or I could have just smiled and like, oh, okay. Well, all right. Here I come. I'm, I don't know what my decision or what me being right there is going to, you know, help you do but okay here i come okay but anyway that's the wonderful life i'm leading right now uh i'm a foreman so we'll do that okay <laughs> i'll be a foreman hallelujah let's see where was i I'm not too far from the end of it i guess um well there wasn't really my, nothing left, actually. So let's go into 16. I'll do 16. Isaiah 16. The last one was Isaiah 15. Read the rest of it for yourself. Because it was only like two verses left. So we'll just start a new, a new chapter. How about that? Just turn the page and start a new chapter. And pray that we can get through this one. Let's see. When this, let's, let's try it. Let's try it. Verse uh, 1 of 16. It says, Send the Lamb... To the ruler of the lamb of the land, send the lamb to the ruler of the land. For Selah to the wilderness, from Selah to the wilderness. Oh God, let me just, uh, y'all. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you when those distractions come, it do, it's it's to do this, right? It's to get you kind of off, kind of, you know, like, oh my gosh, you, you're you looking around, I'm looking to see if they're coming back, you know what I'm saying, so you're not really focused, come on distraction, you're not really focused, come on, not really focused on what you should be doing, distraction, all right, verse uh, one of Isaiah 16, take number two, Glory to God. Send the lamb to the ruler of the land. From Selah to the wilderness. To the mount of the darter of Zion. Verse 2. I got through one. Here it is. I'm in two, y'all. For it shall be as a wandering. Oh, God bird thrown out of the nest my god you gotta fend for, I mean, when that that bird when that mom throw you out that nest you better get better you get it better get get to flying you better you better get to moving because listen that means she is not going after you you better get them wings going come on like a wandering bird thrown out of the nest so shall the daughters of moab at the fords of Aaron, Arnon, I'm sorry, of Arnon. So shall be the daughters of Moab at the fords of Ar Arnon. And we're in three. We made it to three. Take counsel, execute judgment, make your shadow like the night in the middle of the day. Take counsel, execute judgment, make your shadow like the night in the middle of the day. Hide the outcast. Do not betray him who escapes. Let my outcast dwell with you, Moab. Oh, 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 Moab. Be a shelter to them from the face of the spoiler. For the ex extortionate, extortioner, for the extortioner is at an end. Dev uh, 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 devastation ceases. Come on, come on, come on. Now God is using Moab. Last text, Moab has been, been against Israel. What God is saying here, he has the ability to turn, hallelujah, even your enemies to help you out. Come on. 
It says here, let the outcast dwell with you, O Moab. Do not betray him who escapes. Come on. Be a shelter to them. Cover them. Protect them. Glory to God. The oppressors are consumed out of the land. My God. In mercy, the throne will be established. In mercy, the throne will be established. In mercy, the throne will be established. The seat of Jesus is mercy. But this is, this is, I think this, this is talking about an earthly throne too. And one will sit on it in truth. In the tabernacle of David, judging and seeking justice and ha hastenly, hastening righteousness. Verse 6, he says, we have heard of the pride of Moab. He is very uh, proud. My God. My God, Moab is very proud. He of his of his haughtiness and, and, and his pride and his wrath. He's proud of that. He is very proud of his haughtiness. Now wait a minute. Now, how are you gonna be proud of your own pride? That's now that's pride on top of pride. And well, haughtiness and it's his pride. And he and he's prideful. He's he's happy about his his his, his anger too, his wrath. But he lie, but his lies shall not be so. Lying to himself, that thing is not going to keep going to uh, coming to pass. Verse seven says, "Therefore Moab shall wail for Moab." Listen at this thing. I'm so prideful. I'm so. <laughs> oh my God! Listen, you see, you hear this? I'm so prideful that I'm I'm gonna mourn for my own self. My pride is gonna cause me to feel sorry for myself. Everyone shall wail, for the foundations of Ker, uh, Hereseth, you shall mourn. Surely they are stricken, for the, sh the fields of Heshbon languish, and the vine of Sheba, Seba, Sibma, the lords of the nations have broken down. It's choice plants, my God, for for uh, which have reached Jazar, Jazer, and wandered through the wilderness. Her branches are, st are stretched out. They are gone. You know what, guys? Huh. You know, I'm I'm going I'm to leave this right here because I'm I'm feeling a resistance for real. And it's it started it started with the live video. And I'm feeling a resistance. So I'm I'm going to cut this. I'm not gonna even I'm not gonna even uh post this one. Because I'm feeling this resistance and I know I know it. I know it. I'm surrounded by a bunch yeah, I well, I'm not going to say that, but to God be the glory. And uh Jesus sees everybody's soul, you know, and he wants our souls connected to him. He wants our souls uh, given over to him. And, you know, when you when when you feel this type of resistance, you're going against a, a, a demonic spirit, a demonic force that don't want to hear the word of God. And so. Knowing what I'm around, right? Knowing the, the 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 atmosphere, the environment that I'm around, I can see it. I can understand it. I'm not happy because you can't do the when. Okay, I'm gonna give you an example. Why? <laughs> okay, let me say this. Let me say it like this. So when you walk, say if you you know, when you walk into a room and it's pitch black, right? You walk into a room pitch black. And all of a sudden you have in your possession a light that that's let's say I'll give it let's say a thousand white watts, a thousand watt uh light or whatever. I'm I'm making up a number. I I'm pretty sure they have them, but let's say a thousand watts. And you turn that light on, right? In that room before that light came on, it was darkness, it was it was 
It was all kind of maybe creepy things. It was all kind of ugly things going on, wicked things. You couldn't see what was going on in that dark, dark room. But as soon as you turn that light on, let's say a thousand, ten thousand watt light into that dark room. When you turn that light on, now you can see everything, everything that's hiding in that room or everything that's trying to hide behind this or behind that because the light exposes it. It when you turn the light on to on on onto darkness, it it, it 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 totally makes the darkness move out the way. When there's a true light coming on, darkness has nowhere to hide. Right? So, and that's the same thing. I'm gonna tell you uh what happens also in certain settings that you go into when you carry the light of Jesus Christ. Imagine it's that 10,000 million watt light, right? And you go into certain settings, yes, that have dark areas in it. Glory to God. You don't know your turn. You don't know. Hallelujah. Because you, okay. And, and what I mean, the, the, the areas, it could be people that you encounter, right? You're going into places where you're encountering people. I'll just put it like that. And you personally don't know everything that they're doing uh, 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 when you are not in their presence, of course. And they don't know what you're doing when you're, when you're not in their presence, right? But you carry this million watt light, right? Million watts. And let's say you go into a certain setting where that indiv uh, uh, individual or group of people carry darkness as their light, right? So that million watt light is in a group setting with a group of things that may not carry the million watt light. They may carry a light that they're trying to hide, a darkness. And so when that million watt light goes into that setting with the, with the darkness, guess what it starts doing? It causes the darkness to totally disappear. And whatever was in that dark, starts coming to light it starts being exposed now mind you you don't know that that million light lot light watch or a million watt light that you carry let's i'm just giving a number like i said it's just so it's bright let's put it like that the, the light is just so bright now you personally because you're not really interested in you know uh uh being nosy or whatever so you don't know your light you right there you don't know your light is making the darkness exposed you don't know i mean you know you have light you know because you're saved and filled with the holy spirit but you don't know the, the you may not know the, the 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 wattage of the light you know and and so a lot of the scoffing a lot of the mocking a lot of the the triggering come on Come on, y'all. It's because your light is exposing all of that darkness. And that darkness knows that you don't, you might not know what's going on. So now they're trying to, come on, come on. Trying to get you out of there. They're trying to make you un that where you're not focused. They're trying to distract. Come on. Anything to get you off of your purpose. Because now your light that you carry that you don't know the wattage, you just, you just know you serve Jesus. Oh, I love, I love Jesus. He's my, he's my rock. He's my salvation. But all along, <laughs> that million watt light is tearing that darkness up. So, I understand that dynamic now, and I've, I'm gonna say I've not have not always understood it, because I'll be like, Lord, what am I doing? Uh oh, excuse me, what am I doing? Why, why am I? Uh, I mean, it's construction, y'all. Why am I being uh, 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 dogged out over here, kicked out over here? What's going on? I ain't doing that. I'm just sitting here like this, just quiet. Listen, y'all, light is not quiet. Light is not quiet in a dark place. That's why Jesus say, "How you gonna how you gonna put a lamp, light a lamp? Come on, this is that that's this is it right here. How you gonna light a lamp? Let me see where I read it last night. How you gonna light a lamp 
and then put it under the bed. You can't. That light uh, is going to light up. And whoever, who's ever walking in darkness, they ain't going to like that light being shined up on that, that. It don't matter. You could be a city on the hill lighting up that whole uh, hill. But that darkness, he don't like that exposure. And when you when you don't understand that, when you don't know what's really going on, that's when he starts he starts he he'll start attacking you because he know you don't understand what you carry what you're carrying, and so that's when he start attacking you, your character, all that kind of stuff until God give you the revelation. Look, listen, it's not you, it's me. You have a million watt light on, and every room you go into, those that are working in iniquity and darkness. Fear you about to, your light is about to expose them, and most and, and in most cases it does, and you don't even you ain't even said a word. That's the battle. You haven't said a word. Don't even know the words to formulate. You have no. You personally don't have the 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 the, the, <laughs> the intel that the Holy Ghost is, has, but your light has the intel. Come on. I hope you I hope you catching it. What was that at, Lord? Who you told was reading that? Let me see. I know I'm past. It says Christ brings division. Certain Bibles, uh, you can find stuff real quick because you, and then other ones like I've been. One of my this the Bible I'm looking for. Where I know, like when you can see it visually in your mind, I know where it's at. It's at my, it's at the house. And I'm, you listen, it's the same thing here, but I just like at, at the one in my house, I could just boom right there. But this one, you got to kind of search for it. But, but anyway, yeah, that, listen, you don't have the intel per, sometimes you, there's, there's more people that are, are uh, that have more wisdom and they're, you know, been walking in the faith uh, uh, for a, a while. And they, they do have, they understand, you know, what I'm saying right now, they're like, oh yeah. Or they can say, well, you know, I, I remember those days where I was irritating the devil and don't know what, why, or, or, or being, look, being irritated because the light done hit them. Come on. And you, you, uh, uh, still kind of young in the faith. You, I just don't know. Sometimes you just don't, you know, you hadn't matured to that level yet. Right. And you're like, man, what am I doing? You, the devil hit you back. Cause you done hit him with that million watt, 2 million watt, 10 million gazillion watt light. And you don't know all the intel of what that that Holy Ghost is carrying. Now, when you on the inside of you, you don't know all the the the, the 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 fight that you got on the inside just yet. And so he hidden back. And you're like, my God, I ain't, I'm just sitting here looking. I ain't said nothing to nobody. I ain't, I ain't cuss nobody out. I I I'm high. I, I say hi. I'm cordial. I, I'm 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 looking around and I'm like, just look at, I ain't doing nothing. I'm smiling when I'm supposed to. I'm not inappropriate, you know what I'm saying? Cord you know, cordial. So, but is 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 this the Holy Spirit? You know? Uh and 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 as we as we get older and mature in the Holy Spirit, these things start to um he starts teaching us these things the more. And uh and so we know how to handle it and 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 so yeah, so I felt that resistance. And I thank God, you know, because the light is on. And guess what? Somebody is home. Hallelujah. The light is on and somebody is home. Holy Ghost is on the inside. <laughs> on the inside of me. So, uh, so yeah, that's a, that's that's what that is. You know, the, 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 the resistance, the enemy don't want that word. Because that word, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It's a light. It's a light. You don't want that. You don't want that light exposed on his dark areas. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. So, so y'all be blessed. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just leave it right there. I'm gonna be. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come back. Where was I leave off at? Hallelujah. Read sixteen for yourself. I'll be back with seventeen. Lord God, I'm going to do it just like that and progress just like that in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Because I'm trying to get, listen, I'm trying to get through through this thing. So we're going to have to read this thing together, y'all. So you read 16, the 
finish 16. Hallelujah. Let me see what I leave off at. At 7. I stopped at 7. Stumbled up on it, though. <laughs> Talk about some stumbling. Glory to God. But God is so good. He knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. Probably wanted me to say that about the light. Your light, what it does in them, in them places that you go. Mm -hmm. Any place. Think, Just think about it. It could be your mama's house, your daddy's house, your church house. It could be your workplace. Come on. That light be stirring up everywhere, y'all. The grocery store, the laundry mat, uh, 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 uh. The penthouse, come on, the yacht that you carry some, 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 the light of Jesus Christ on the lot, on the yacht, and see what happened. And you get some darkness on that yacht. And guess what? Come on, it's gonna stir that devil right on up. Uh huh. Expose all that stuff, and he he get mad because he see. When, but that's when you start. You you don't know. That's when you don't know. You know how to pray and what to say to the Lord and Holy Spirit like that. But yeah, he be trying to hit back. Mm -mm. We don't take no hit backs. We 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 hit hitting with the light, the light of Jesus Christ hitting. Amen. In the name of Jesus, if we, if God had you go somewhere, it's for a reason. Come on, don't let that devil uh hit you back. I know you may not understand it right now, but don't let him be be tearing you up. Uh -uh. God has you there for a reason. Glory to God. <laughs> maybe to show them that there are some people that do still carry the Holy Ghost light. Come on. Not no other kind of light. In Jesus' name, that kind of light. But anyway, I'm going to leave that alone and see if I have to do any more construction work around here. In Jesus' name. But yeah, but, that, but things are great. Things are good. Let me see. I need to go check and see if they have everything they need in there. In Jesus' name, y'all have a great day. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for hanging in with me through all of these distractions, all of the breakup, break, breaking in out of the video, and even the stumbling over the text. <laughs> anyway, I love y'all. Be safe. Have a great one. Amen.